Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here with me today. Um, I just had a crazy experience. I am revamping up my pantry um, and I started doing it and I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So you guys are gonna get the back end of my organizing, sorry about that. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish up what I did not finish the first time. And then we're gonna go in my office and clean that. So you're gonna get a little bit of organization and some cleaning all in one. I did go to Dollar Tree and they actually had white baskets. So that's what made me decide to redo my whole pantry. I did have a red pantry, which some of you guys know. If you don't, I will go ahead and insert a before picture. But I just think the white just, it looks so clean cut and I just love it so much better. You'll get to see half of it and then I'll go ahead and finish it with you now. So let's get ready to organize and then we'll move on to my office. you saw the red pantry was how it was looking before and I still have a few red baskets left so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the red baskets out and finish organizing right now I am going through my medicine it is amazing how much medicine that I had that we never use or that was probably over 10 years old so you know I just have to learn to let go and so that's what I'm doing now and it's so funny because that's what I tell my clients as far as if you have not used it within the year then just let it go so that's what I'm doing now I'm just organizing the medicine and getting that all taken care of I do have two baskets for that so I'm gonna put pills in one and then the liquid medicine into the other one not want to bore you with you watching me sort so I skipped over to this side once I was done with that I did put a roundabout in here to use for my sauces that I have so I just put the sauces onto there now moving on to my husband's Herbalife section um, he has tons of powders and pills and jello packets that he used to make his smoothies so I'm gonna get that organized and sectioned off as well So my lovelies, you know I love to support others and my shout out today is for our Jenny from The Mop. Okay, so not only does she have a cute creative name, that was actually what attracted me to her channel was Jenny from The Mop because I love me some Jenny from The Block. But anywho, Jenny it has a cleaning motivational channel and she cleans, I think it's two times a week, and she stays on her cleaning motivation. Like, she will make you want to get up and do some cleaning. And I just love her personality. Right now, she's talking about The Bachelorette, which I have absolutely no idea about. But if you like that show, you should totally watch it because she's talking about it. She makes me actually want to watch the show. But <laughs> anyway, she's married with a little boy and she's so sweet and she's been very supportive to me since day one. So I just wanted to give back to you, Jenny, and give you a shout out. I will have her link to her channel in my description box below as well. Moving over to the other side, I do have this tea dispenser that I use, so I decided just to take it out the box and put it on display. I thought that would be a lot nicer. 
And so I did have these smaller locker bins at first, but I needed bigger bins to put more supplies in. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch those out and get those labels transferred over as well. excited about these bins they're a lot bigger so I can add more items to them so I'm excited about that um, I was going to order the clear bins from Amazon and then when I got to my shopping cart it was like three hundred and forty dollars and I was like yeah no because I do know that I for one I like to switch things over a lot you know I've always thought I had commitment issues to certain things except for my marriage but um, I do like to switch things up. So I was like, I'm not going to pay that much into my pantry. And, and not to mention, I don't like to see items. I don't like to see all the different colors and things like that. So that's why I went ahead and just got the white bigger bins. And it's amazing how awesome you can make your pantry look with Dollar Tree products. So I was excited about that. Now I'm bringing out my labels and I am making labels for the newer baskets and getting that all taken care of. I'm also going to vacuum out the pantry and give you a roundabout shot of how it looks and then we'll move on to my office. Now we're moving into my office, which you would totally think was my girls' offices as well, but it's fine. They do like to come in here and do their virtual learning and just kick back and relax. So I allow them to do that. It's okay. It's a pink room. It's girly. I knew they would want to be in there. So tripod lean to the side. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up and back to normal. Don't know why my rug is in that position. I have to ask them. As you can see, I am in different clothing. This was a Saturday, so we were going to go out and run some errands. So I wanted to just go ahead and get this cleaned and taken care of before we got back home. I didn't want to walk past this room and keep seeing it looking like a hot mess. So that is what we were doing. I do want to apologize for the glare that you may see. Uh, I believe it's from the window. The sun is probably totally just beaming into my office and it just made this horrible glare and I just want to apologize to you guys for that. Um, now I am going ahead and cleaning off my desk with the glass away. That right there is my Control Chaos logo. I had it put on a mouse pad and I'm so excited about it and wanted to show you. But yes, this, this spray away glass cleaner I am cleaning off my desk with and the electronics. Don't know if I should, but so far so good. So <laughs> my husband will be printing off papers throughout the whole video. So you will see me constantly going over there grabbing papers and putting it outside my office door so that he wouldn't walk in and disturb me. That basket was an extra white basket that I had from the pantry and I decided, oh, that would be good in my office. I can put something in there. And so I put my labeler and calculators in there. So it worked out pretty good. Now 
I am moving over to clean my windowsill. When we were hanging up these cute little Halloween decors in the window, I noticed that it needed a little wipe down. So that's what I'm doing now real quickly. And yes, it is a black spider web on my window. I have really never decorated for Halloween, but my kiddos really, really wanted to because it seems like my whole block has Halloween decor out. So I had to do it for the kiddos. It was hard because I'm such a fall pumpkin beautiful orange leaves type decorator. But yeah, I did put a little bit of Halloweenness out there. I'm done with playing nice. Now look me in the eyes. Tell me, tell me, tell me what you see inside. Not gonna ask you twice. Not looking for your lies. Tell me, tell me. For some odd reason, my lovely smart TV did not want to bring up YouTube because normally I am watching others YouTube videos while I clean, so unfortunately I had to turn to Netflix and I turned on a show that I really can't tell you the name of. I think it's like Wentworth. I think that's what it is. I've heard that it was a pretty good show, so I turned that on to clean with and wasn't even paying any attention to it. So I need to get my TV fixed so I can turn back on my YouTube. about to vacuum so you will see the vacuum magically appear <laughs> but I needed to go back and get the oil so I am going to put this piece in quiet into my filter my vacuum and it's so calming so I just wanted that smell to be in my office right now and remember how I mentioned how I get over things pretty easily well, this pink rug, I'm actually over it now, so I am currently looking for another rug to come into my office. I really want a bigger one, maybe an 8x10. So if anybody knows a good place where I can get a good deal on an 8x10 rug, let me know. We feel nothing, but if you game, I am willing to jump. Cause I've been thinking about crossing the line and just giving. Last but not least, I am going to go ahead and light a candle because I do not feel that my rooms are complete unless I light a candle or diffuse oils in the room. And I just want to thank you guys for being here with me. I really appreciate you and I appreciate your support and coming back to me. If you are not a subscriber, if you could please go ahead and push that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. And until the next time, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.